Why is the universe always dark, with billions of dazzling stars shining across the cosmos? How is it possible that they can't light up the entire universe? This seemingly simple question actually hides one of the deepest mysteries of the cosmos. Back in 1823, German astronomer Heinrich Olbers asked the exact same thing. He said that if the universe is static and uniform, then given enough time, the night sky should be completely filled with starlight, so bright that it would eventually look like daylight. But in reality, even though we can see countless stars in the sky, the night sky as a whole is dark. Vast stretches of blackness exist between those stars. We don't see light coming from those empty looking spaces. This is what scientists call the dark night sky paradox, also known as Olber's paradox. So, how do we explain this? Olbers proposed that at least one of the three assumptions about the universe must be wrong. Infinite, uniform, and static. Thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope and its deep field images, we've already confirmed that the structure of the universe is indeed uniform on a large scale. That part checks out. So, could the universe be finite? If the universe, or the number of stars within it, is limited, then it's easier to explain why the night sky is mostly dark. A limited number of light sources simply can't fill an infinite sky. But here's the real twist. Is the sky we see with our own eyes the full extent of the universe? Obviously not. For one, the universe is only 13.8 billion years old, which is very different from being infinitely old. And since light travels at a finite speed, we can only receive light that has had enough time to reach us. That means light from anything beyond 13.8 billion light years theoretically hasn't arrived yet. So the universe isn't infinite, at least not the observable universe. Now, is the universe static? In the early 20th century, Edwin Hubble observed something remarkable, galactic redshift. Almost all distant galaxies are moving away from us. And the farther they are, the faster they move away. This means the universe isn't static at all. It's expanding, just like a balloon inflating. Even light that can reach us within the observable universe gets stretched out as the universe expands. This stretches visible light into infrared or even microwave wavelengths, rendering it invisible to the human eye. That's one of the reasons why we perceive the universe as dark. But there's more. Not all starlight actually can reach Earth. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, nothing with mass can travel faster than light, but that doesn't mean space itself can't expand faster than light. So in regions far enough away from us, space is expanding at superluminal speeds, faster than light, which means light from those stars will never reach us. So we're limited to observing only the part of the universe where light can actually travel to us. We receive light from only a fraction of all stars, and even that light gets redshifted and loses energy along the way. That's why the night sky isn't flooded with light. That's why the universe appears black. It's not just empty space. It's a window into the structure, age, and expansion of everything we know. And that is the true reason why the universe is dark. If you found this explanation as mind-blowing as we did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more cosmic mysteries broken down like this. Thanks for watching.